Hi, today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about the power of the mini reset. This is about finding just a minute or so in your day at regular intervals to help you kind of recenter yourself, getting yourself back to a place where you're really coping, really managing and able to give of your best self. Now, this feels more important now than it has done in the past. For many of us, this is something we do regularly all the time anyway, but more important now because so many people are struggling completely understandably with kind of rumbling anxiety much of the time. And the problem is that when lots of us are feeling like this, we begin to kind of bounce off each other and mirror each other and things get more and more tense and difficult. So what we need to be able to do is to press the reset button every now and then and find that place of relative calm. And when we're able to do that, when we're able just to reset a little bit, then we're just more able to cope and manage and thrive in our work. This is something that uh, if you do it regularly, just means you're more able to kind of get through the day, basically. So it's just a way of coping. Um, and obviously, if you've got big kind of underlying stuff, then that will need to be dealt with. But this is just about how do I get from the moment when I wake up in the morning to the moment when I go to bed at night without completely flipping my lid or completely burning out, melting down, otherwise finding things too challenging to continue. So mini resets, it's literally about finding a minute. It might not be more than that if you've got a really busy life. Many of you I know are educators working in schools. Um, just finding a minute and you can just stop and focus in on yourself and get yourself back to a place of calm. Exactly what you do with that minute will depend on what works for you because as we talk about all the time this is different for everybody but things that might be helpful just drink a glass of water mindfully just thinking about how the water feels and tastes and noticing as you swallow and as the body as your water moves through your body so just being really mindful of what you're doing there you might do a breathing exercise for a moment you might pick up the phone or talk to a friend you might step outside and count different things that you can see or hear or smell. Have a bit of a mindful moment that way. The kind of things that often really helps here are things that will kind of calm or ground us and keep us in the present moment really connected with what's going around us. But as we often do with kind of mindfulness type exercises, allowing all the other thoughts to just kind of pass on by. So we notice them but we just allow them to go by and we just give ourselves just a minute to focus in on rediscovering that place of calm. Now, the reason why this is helpful is because many of you will have heard me talk before about our window of tolerance. And this is what we can cope with basically before we either dip down here and that's into kind of a shut down or like depressed type state where we basically, yeah, shut down. We stop being able to engage. We become unmotivated. It becomes very difficult to energize ourselves or we go up through the top and that's when we tend to be very anxious or we get very angry. Um, and that's kind of the, the kind of hyper arousal and um, the more kind of anxious end of it. And what we're looking to do is to try and stay in this optimal zone within the window as much as we can. And in any given day, in any given hour, we'll be moving up and down within that. And what we're looking to do here is just to bring ourselves back to the middle of that. Okay. Um, and so this doesn't have to be big things. This is just pressing that reset button just briefly, allowing yourself to just take a breath and then you're in a better position to continue to engage with your day. You might feel like you don't have time for this. You don't have a minute in your day when you can just stop and take it for yourself and focus in on a bit of self-care for a moment. But I would argue, as I so often do, you don't have time not to do this. If you take just a minute, five if you can, but even if you can just take one minute Focus in on yourself, refine your calm, rebalance yourself within your environment and really connect with where you are and how you are right now. You will find that you're much more focused, you're much calmer, your problem solving skills are better. Even your language, your ability to find your words and use your words well will improve because you're in that calmer, better state of mind. You've given your brain an opportunity just to reset. So mini resets. It doesn't need to take lots of your time. Doing this little and often makes a really big difference.